What is up guys, Son of Beast here. Game 5 of the Eastern Conference matchup as the Sixers take on against the Bucks. Right now, after the Lakers wins their victory in Game 5, of the, as they are the Western Conference champions, they are heading on its way to the end of the road in the Finals to face on against the winning team in Eastern Conference. So, who will win the next game in the Eastern Conference section? We'll find out and see what we have. By that moment, there is no, uh, there's no choice that I was gonna put, bring out this car, this part of the association event. And for the other team, I would take the, uh, I would take the, um, the, uh, the icon jersey as I will be playing as the Sixers. So the Sixers ties it up with 2-2 with Milwaukee Bucks, but the Sixers needs to find itself free through Game Five or Game Six. We're not sure what will happen here, but this might be a tough, tough uh, gaming that we never got a chance to look at. So anyways, this will be back at SpyServe.Forum. And by that moment, episode 38 is out for Chris Webber. So if you guys are taking a look for Chris Webber, Webber, search him on Wikipedia. But what does, what year did Chris Webber make his NBA debut? Find out your answers right in the comment section below. From the, uh, from the year. And we have your top plane. I say 1990. I say this one, and I was right. I can't tell you that. 19... I can't tell you anything, but uh, come up, come up with your own comments and try to get better at that point. And who do you want to see the Shoe Creator Challenge return to the NBA 2K21? Do you want to see the Shoe Creator? Let us know in a comment down below. Maybe I would like to say yes. Just to uh, give you a heads up for your shoes in the game. So anyways, let's get this back in and start Game 5 of the Eastern Conference. Yeah, I know this is going to be a tough uh, game that we are never seeing that before. And I brought it back here, this court. The game's coming up. Game 5 between the Sixers and the Bucks. As for right now, the two will be the champions and head on to the finals. We'll find out after this. But only the Lakers make the win in, uh, in the Western Conference Championship game. Not to be reasonable, let's just head on right into the game. And it looks like the NBA action may never seem to be too close again once the Sixers made 40 wins in a row. But for the reporter, David Aldridge, we'll find out about that for just a second. But in the game, you just never see what Brooke Lopez can do. Shooting points, a lot of rebounds, and we did watch the last dance on number on episode eight. And episode seven, this was the last time that was happened that Michael Jordan didn't want to play play in 1994 and 1995 before he came back in. But anyways, here's DA. Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college. And a fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Kevin, we all agree, has done just that. Let's have a look at the uh, starring lineups. We were presented by Kia. Not to be the only uh, confusing starting lineups, but the same thing happens with Tobias Harris and Chris Middleton on the uh, small four position. And yes, Tobias Harris was the most improved player after the, after game four was officially done and made a win for the buzz beater by Joel Embiid with an amazing shot that he made. But for Chris Middleton, he wants to start things off another day. Sometimes Brett Brown wants the players to uh, head to the uh, finals, but the other team wants to win it all. So here we go. Let's get game five on the books. The tip off. Simmons, Richardson, here. That'll be the Bucks ball as they win the jump ball, and we start now in game five. Showing you what Giannis did, he showed a lot of adunction with improved skill that he may have done back in the upper couple games of this season. But in, la but in season two, they played against the Pelicans by the uh, by the end of a game. But for Dallas Mavericks, they would have played play up to rematch against the Bucks. And uh, that was back in season four that I definitely did remember. But for that being said, I don't have any choices about Luka Doncic that he was going to beat up against uh, beat Giannis that time. 
Giannis finds an open self and he was improved superstar by that game. So after the shot by uh, Simmons, this is by Al Horford, here's Harris. Yes, a most improved player of had receiving a lot of points about the deal. Richardson grabbing out the three. It's rebounded by Giannis. And here's, here's, here's Matthews coming in with the drive. Back to Giannis. That I'll never first shot went no good. For then the last time these two squared. Well, this is the last time that happened. And, uh, that made a win with 49 defensive rebounds and only eight for uh, with an off rebounding on the post. Pass to MB. Now here's MB. Brooke Lopez with the cover. Just find the shoot. Harris coming in the drive. It's rebounded by MB. Oh, nice solid deep here for Brooke Lopez as as MB couldn't make the first shot. Richardson against Matthews. Matthews against, Ri against Richardson. Middleton against Horford. And Anastasia Kupo against Harris. Shoots up and fade away. MB, MB grabs his second rebound with another miss by Giannis. Now time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Sixers moving the ball around. Recovered by Simmons. Harris with the three. It's off the three-pointer line, and there, and the coach is saying no threes remain. Then let that happen again. First foul will go on Tobias Harris. This first, which is under five minutes left. And yes, I, that was something that was straight out of the canyon. What what uh, Chris Middleton was a dynamic duo that made him a, a, a quick pointer shot. Not quite, uh, not quite uh, well enough to, uh, to play uh, to play up against the other teams, uh, the other players. But I might be saying he's really important. Sometimes he was just a dynamic duo. Yeah, he's with uh, Giannis at the time, giving him a lot of extra help with the alley-oops. The first, first free throw goes in for Chris Middleton. For Middleton, he was drafted in the second round by Detroit. Brent, they sent him to the G League, which he says was the turning point for him. Well, I think he just got hungrier and realized there was a self-awareness part of this that he needed to grow and he needed to maybe adjust some of his work habits. Went from an overlooked second round pick to an NBA All-Star, Kevin. I would call that great focus. And now he wants to be a consistent performer on a nightly basis to lead this team to championship level. I know the championship now, level here at Brad Prairie. With well, all that game with the scoring position, position, he was in the G League before, before he was been drafted up. Out of that ran out of the way if Bucks ball was called. It's turned over by the first 12 on Philly. He's around 14 points per game. But here's Josh Richardson, just only 13 points, three assists, three rebounds. Definitely just a big ass couple timing guy that everyone was looking for. All the way around, and he's not. Finds Giannis, but then passes up to Matthews. Giannis passes to Bledsoe, back to Giannis. Here's a drive. Or it grabs the rebound, and Al Horford will take the first rebound look in the other direction. A lot of games, he was in the second draft, uh, NBA draft pick in the second round well, with the Detroit, but he sent it out to the G League. Not just a close call, but it, this is very that kind of tough to play for Chris Middleton, planning out to, uh, to go to NBA or the G League. Bledsoe outside. No points for Ryan. Lopez gets to Middleton with a three. Milwaukee, Milwaukee couldn't stable up the three-pointer. Tobias Harris going for two on one, but it's off loose. As the MB goes over Brook. Milwaukee with another rebound. That's four rebounds for Giannis. The score is even right now with just two. Bledsoe coming in. The drive's good for Bledsoe, and that'll be his first bucket for tonight. Bledsoe pays it no mind. Wow, what a hoop there. Simmons passes up to Embiid. Embiid passing it up to Harris. Bounce pass to Horford. Rolls up. The shot's off, and Giannis will take his first personal foul look on the line. And two free throws for Al Horford is up next. Come back to it again. Sometimes Giannis gets a little bit out of uh, unsteady with the game, but I'm not even quite getting a good look by uh, by the better defensive player that was going to block the ball and send it back the other way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
Well, first takes the first free throw. And some detractors. There are new changes for our Sixers as MB, Morris Harris, Harris, and Richardson are subbed out. Five old Robinson and Scott are checked in as Al Horford switches to the center. And four players switch. Oxy Kumbo goes to the center. Ilya Sopan, Vincenzo, and Hill are checked in. Big Al is the total package. And he can't hit he the couldn't track. make the second one, but it went up no, one. But they trail up by one. Giannis, oh, what a drive. He's saved by that moment. And there's your first basket, assist by Middleton. The 76ers trail by three. Sixers are trailing by three with just under three minutes to go. Simmons dribbling off to five ball. Trying to go around him, but that's the Robinson the third. Holds the ball. And, the and there we got a jump ball between Middleton and Robinson the third. Here's the here's the jump ball. And here are the. And it looks like now. Robinson the third wins the tip off. Jump ball. Down low. Robinson here's Simmons the driving. The shot. Comes off loose, and George Gill picks up his first ball. rebound. It's Hill on the wing. Hill Which making the three. One Shot's one good. Two points with his first shot. That'll be the first two point, first, first three point for George Hill. Hill. That was 48% for entering today's game, game in game five. Nothing that resists more. Robinson. Robinson the third coming in. Back to Simmons. Back to Simmons. Simmons rolling it over to Holford. Six on the shot. Five ball for three or two. And that's a two-pointer missing. Here's Milwaukee now. Giannis going in to drive. Hill for three. It's rebounded by Robinson the first. It's first. Sixers trail by six. Sixers are trailing by six. They want to turn it around. They're gonna have to like to turn this around and find another shot to go for. Outside Robinson. Over over by Orford. Orford against Hill. Orford passes up to Robinson the third. Robinson the third to Simmons goes up by Haley Sofa. Rebounded it's Bucks. rebounded by the Bucks. Ellie Silva will take the first one. So if you have no easy first look on the rebound when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He George Hill, Ochtikubo sends out number two. Great ball movement there. And that'll be George Hill's first assist. 114 left in the first quarter. 113 left. 11 to 3 is your score. That's up to Robinson the third. He's stopping the cover by uh, Milton. Bounce pass the five hole. Here's Shoots over to Vincenzo. And Anshu Kumbo sends out with a rebound. That was a very early shot by Feibel. Hill missed again. Robinson the third makes his second rebound. But he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Passed up by Robinson the third. Robinson gets the shot. Shot fake. Bounce pass. Rolling it over to Horford. Going back to Simmons for just a two. And he missed it off again. He's not very hard. 33 seconds left. Giannis. Oh, what a drive and a dunk. There are two dunks for Giannis that wants to go wild by the Greek freak. Once you a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Simmons. Passing it up to sweep up Horford. He's coming off a 22 Pass out to Simmons, rolling it over to Robinson the third. He did rebound as well, guys. I mean, just the Bucs are going to say this is the end. The 76ers end here. David Chenzo with the two drives it up. It's good. First bucket for David Chenzo goes on end. Pass assist by Giannis. Al Simmons. Five ball taken by Buzzbeater. Oh, he made it that time before the quarter ended. And that will end the first quarter. 15 to 5 as they as they lead, as the Bucks lead by 10. Sometimes it's just going out way wild than ever been played. We'll be right back with this one after this. Second period starting right now as the as the Bucks lead, lead by um, I think it was five or four. But they're up by 10 to put it up over by 10. Here's Kyle Corfer on the floor. Scott, right, in the, uh, right next to the paint, pass to Warford. Goes up by Robin. Robin Lopez with the first block. Kirk Moss went missing. 6.45 left. Here's Corfer. Pass up by Robin, and Robin will take the dunk. 
So on the floor for Philadelphia. Horford is out there. Yeah, and we also have Marvin Williams on the court. And, and there's Burks, Milton, and Cork Boss. Horford and, uh, and Scott are still on the court. Milton trying to uh, keep it covered. Suits over Connaughton. First shot for Milton is good. Field goals are updated right now as 47% was the Bucks. But the Sixers need to find its way to keep the field goal. It's percent clear. They only got 19%. Oh, the putback! Where did that come from? The great Jerry Sloan is the head coach. It was a wonderful experience, but you understood that the playoffs. There's Milton right outside. Only two points for him. He passed up by Burks. Corkmaz willing it over to Scott. Screen on Cork Mods. It goes up by the paint. First foul will go on Marvin Williams. It's first. The next upcoming game for the Bucks will be game six. Back at Philly. And if the game is necessary, Mendo will be they'll be back home and Milwaukee to face against the Sixers. If necessary by that moment. A lot of home games are coming out to a complete start here, Phil, for the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. But the Sixers did find its way in in Game 4 and Game 1. And Scott takes the first free throw. And Bede checked in for Horford. Offense for the Bucks. A lot of chances right now for Al uh, Horford since he played his last game in the with the Boston Celtics. That was Mike and George Hill stepped out as Eric Bledsoe checks in. So it's checked in for the Bucks. And Bede, he's checked in for the 76. Scott didn't make it in. So he goes one for two. That's one for two for uh, Mike Scott, but it looks like here's Bledsoe outside. Starts with Giannis, and that might have got them into layup for Bledsoe's good. Another creator in a way where a guy can manufacture his own. Pass up by Burks. Who knows? Maybe that's growth within. Going to try to motion to give it a go. He tries to improve his game or Eric Bledsoe in some way, but the team does need a little bit more. Pass up by MB on the offensive end. Here's MB. And looked like he was just going to spin it all over. Didn't, get, didn't caught him dizzy again. Kirk Maz, first shot's good. And that will be his first basket for, for two. Sometimes Kirk Maz, they need to know what what, uh, what Kirk is. But for Anthony Kumpo, that's like the same thing too. How do you pronounce Kirk? It's, if it's Kork, Korkmaz, Korkmaz, that, that's not correct. Korkmaz, you've got to say it correct, just like Giannis. Oh, the bucket number three for Bledsoe. That'll be number two for two love shots for, uh, for Eric Bledsoe. Let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Devin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives him. It sure is. That's sure is. Bringing up what Josh Richardson does. And B trying to find up with the shot, following up by Bledsoe with three points. Burks takes the first two. Burks has got his first bucket of the night. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right Looks there. Looks like you've almost went off, off for a hockey by the other players. But that doesn't change everything. By 12. Bucks lead by 12. Plants are going up with another different driving look. Bledsoe, covered by Burks. Here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe's dunk is on the panic. As Brett Brown will call it his first timeout for the Sixers. Philadelphia only has the first timeout to take it from here. Right now, I'm going to switch it up with another look here. And they stop the clock at 3.27 to go. Right now, I'm going to make another change here. But right now, I'll make it to Spurs 2018. And an average. Gotta, uh, gotta make it, cr we gotta like, crash the offense and then we need to do some pick and rolls. Yes, we can't forget about that. One of each player needs to do some pick and rolls. That's, that's how it matters. Lopez, who's Lo now, Brook Lopez has checked in for Robin Lopez. And as Tobias Harris subbing in for Mike Scott. And Richardson checking in for Burks. 
You talk about Embiid's personality, whether it's on the court or... Connaughton, Corfer, and Robin Lopez are checked out one more time. Brooke Lopez, Connaughton switches to small forward, and Wesley Matthews is checked in. Milton going in, back pass, rolling over to Corkmaz. He takes a three, calls a rebound for Embiid, and a putback. He's paying off with the basket, but he finally gets his first two on the roll. Wesley Matthews trying to give a good shot looking up. Looking up. Lopez passes to Bledsoe. Bledsoe making the three. Went deep, went deep but it went off wide. The 76ers trail by Sixers 12. Trail by 12. That's up to Cork Boss. Cork Boss going to by Harris. Then he passed to Richardson. Seven to shoot. Pass to Cork Boss. Philadelphia moving the ball over. Goes over Brook. He brings it in. Four points for MB. MB has got four points now in the quarter. And that was the assist by Corkmouse. Showing what his second game was pulling up by his moment. Milwaukee leading by ten. Milwaukee lead by ten. Matthews trying to look himself open, trying to get the shot. First shot went off. Oh, laid it up in for Brook Lopez without calling the goaltending on MB. Has been in this league for over a decade. Solid. Just down to two minutes left in the second period. Here's Milton making a crossover move. Here's Milton. He's Moves it around to Richardson. Richardson, Richardson, the Richardson and the court buys. To Richardson. And B carrying out with the screen. And B right from the elbow. And that's good. Assist by Richardson. He's got six. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Now here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe carries out the wing in a drive. It's good. Difference maker. Eleven points for Richard uh, for Bledsoe on these possessions. Pass up to Milton. Milton and MB. One fifteen left to play in the first half. Screen on Harris. Here's a, here's a shot. There's a number two for Harris. Assist by Milton. Under one minute left. This is the last game after they played in game four. After an unbearable loss against the uh, Sixers without with the buzz beater by MB that was sending out with a deep three right near the baseline. He was never going to look at it, but this is how this is how well he does and keep it better at that moment. So right now I'm protecting the perimeter. I'm gonna need to keep it running in transition, and then I need to let let it play physical. All bunch of players. We'll, we'll need to like everybody has to cover. I don't want any changes at that moment. Um, let's try. Let's make no threes at that moment, unless there if there's one. Let's make a neutral, anyways. And now here are some new changes for the Bucks. Middleton and Ashton are checked in. Josh Richardson, Middleton, and Corkmaz are checked out. Fievel, Richardson, and Simmons are checked in. And then a new changing for the Bucks. Hill, DiVincenzo, Middleton, and Ashton are checked in. 40 seconds to play between the shot clock and game clock. Fast and B. Here's Fiebel. Fiebel with the three. Calls the rebound and he got one. He passed up to my Richardson. It's Richardson. Richardson coming in a drive. Rebound again. And he makes it. That's first points for uh, for Richardson. For the Sixers. And they are moving it up by eight. They've led by as many as 14 points. Just 10 seconds left between for this game clock. Giannis trying to go for the buzz beater. Here's a three-pointer. And he is all alone. Make the three. Giannis has got eight. Giannis with eight points. Simmons for the buzz beater. 
And it's off the line. First half is closed, 32 to 22. As for Giannis and other players are just working on the rim, going over by the screen play. And now here's DA. Kevin, thanks. Coach, you guys have been able to limit their scoring. How have you done that? I think our activity hopefully in the pick and rolls is making it uh, difficult on them, contesting every shot, uh, denying just our activity in general. High hands and quick feet. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Second quarter, second half is about to begin after this. Please stand by for the halftime show. We're all starting off with the second half. As for the top players of the, uh, of the scoring was Embiid and Giannis. While Chris Middleton wasn't able to, uh, to play this game, he had a lot of discussions with his uh, teammate. But for Butso, he wants to know that Chris Middleton is working really hard and trying to go with an interview by the game. Uh, how well did Chris Middleton play? This was, a minute, this was like enjoying the game out of the moment right out of your hand. But with that being said, the game is on its way back. In the second half, and we're ready to go. Harris, passed up by MB, rolling it over to Simmons. Simmons going in with a shot. It's rebounded by Giannis. Going for two on one. Matthew stops it from, uh, from Richardson. Richardson passed to Middleton. Now here's Middleton. He passed up by uh, Bledsoe. Shot clock turning down to six. Here's a drive. It's blocked by Horford. And a shot clock violation went on the Bucks. That will be changing into Philly ball. Mike Budenholzer just went to tell his teammate to, uh, to make it on time. But it went too late as the block was on Horford. But Giannis would have like rebounded it before it went for a violation. But that went too late. I mean, nobody has done that before a bunch of times. And B going up to take the two. A thought, a thought of a look, but no shot for MB. Foul's going on Horford, his first. Bledsoe will go to the line to shoot two. As for Eric Bledsoe, he, he knows what uh, last three, se last four seasons, he's like pulling up on the show, trying to keep it on the wind. He's going up and down on the floor. They, the officials say that the, that the Bucks are doing really well to keep it going from here. The they're not they're not slowing the things down a bit. They just going up to pick up the pace. That's good. Bledsoe Bledsoe. hits the first. And since coming to the box, Eric Bledsoe hasn't been asked to do nearly as much as he has in the past. And for Bledsoe, that is a good thing, as he is best as a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision making and shot selection have vastly improved. Bledsoe hits two free throws. And Brent, when you watch Eric Bledsoe go to the rim, he's six minutes left here. Simmons only has two. He's looking like he's like having difficulty to find his uh, shooting career. But his shoes it might be damaging by by a foot. With and strength allows. But he looks like he may need to uh, need to go to uh, to get contact and to make things medical uh, to uh, talk to his nurse and see what happened to Ben Simmons by the time he got it back. Fasten Richardson goes over Wesley Matthews. Rebound. Horford with a three. And, and that carries out way down. off the target as Giannis was going to block that ball. Not going to talk about he was going to block that ball, but where, what the heck happened to his deflect ball? Nine seconds for the shot clock. Horford goes up. Bledsoe makes a shot. It's good for another field goal percentage for Eric Bledsoe to stop by. Be careful. You're so focused on other guys. Eric Bledsoe will sneak up on you and start pouring in basketball. Oh, didn't seem to want he wanted to care about that. But he did pass to Horford. Passing it right over back to Richardson. Now the pass to Harris. Final motion. 
bounds as the it went out of bounds. It, it went into Milwaukee ball it's by Bucks. Take a look at the standings out Scoring position was just 53. Now they put up 55 wins right from the top. They are streaking over 55 on the win, but they did not streak up by 60. So it's not enough to pick up the uh, game brand as a percentage. And it's really hard to go from a, from a hard winning percentage by the other team. And be outside. They're still very passes over to Simmons. postseason seed. And be with the three slams it down. That three pointer for and it's good. And he has nine points right over Giannis. Here's Giannis. Giannis no good. Tough D on that time, making it solid by MB. MB doing a two. Oh, he's not that well quitting here. He's doing really well. Assist by Richardson. Josh Richardson distribute the ball. Four minutes left. Giannis looking around the floor to go with another look. Bledsoe to feed up by Middleton. Yeah, that won't go in. Solid D from Harris. Chris Middleton only has two. And that's not enough to put it up on the another point as again. Only the free throws was pulling up so many times. That's not by Richardson with this fadeaway. But Harris grabs it back. Simmons outside covering up. Simmons on the wing. Screen on Embiid. Suits it from the elbow. And his pass for Simmons, Simmons is good. Simmons got three assists. That's three assists right now for Ben Simmons. And now we're adding to 313 left. Timeout called by the Bucks. Looky like uh looks like uh Joel Embiid might be on a streaking run if he might be on if he doesn't miss it again. But if he rebounds it, he might be on the rebounding streak. Doing really well as always. Bay do changes for the Sixers as Al Horford switches up to the center after a sub out by Embiid. And then it will be Tobias Harris, Richardson, and Simmons as Richardson switches to the point guarding position. Mike Scott might be in fourth place behind Middleton. And it's not quite really well to keep it up from here by uh, Eli Sopa or anybody else. DiVincenzo unable to make, connect the layup move, but it's defended by Horford. All five players are subbed out too. Porter, Eli Sofa, George Gill, Robin Lopez, and DiVincenzo are checked in. Suits up by Robin, and there's a shot for Warford as he grabs his second bucket. And now they're and now they're they're trailing by five for the Bucks. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this. A lot of coaching staffs are going right over him. They are just on killing them. Two forty left to go. George Hill against Richardson. Hill pass to Robin Lopez. Robin takes another two pointer. That's six points right on the board as the assist will be up by George Hill. Richardson, only two pointer. Bounce pass to Cork Mize. Scott with the screen. But it's taken away by Ellie Sofa. Two on one to go. And it's Richardson taking him up. Grabs it back. The foul's going on Fiebel, his first, and that'll be their second team foul for Philly. Literally, Fiebel doesn't do anything uh, anything wrong with, with the ever team of players. But for DiVincenzo, he'll take two shots at the free throw line. And they, and they stop the clock with just 2.05 remaining. Brett Brown seems a little anxious by uh, by the other teams calling the fouls. Take a break. Take a I break. Two Sixers players calling the fouls. The first free throw went off. There's a lot of talk, Brent, about eliminating division, something that's been discussed. Do you ever think that's going to happen? I, I don't understand what the divisions are, do you? Well, I mean, no. I, we don't pay attention to the divisions. We don't pay any attention to the divisions. It's all about conference. And we know that uh, divisions end up helping with, in some ways with uh, the playoff seedings, but it just seems strange today to have the divisions the way they are divided up. I think there is a second free throw. Up the fish wrap in the morning, if you check, if you check <laughs> He wasn't able to connect it. He was, was not ready to start out with the first one. It could point. be something that, that goes The second one, he did well. Two minutes left. Richardson, fast step by Scott. 
Scott, hold the ball. Corkmiles on the outside. Comes in. Over Corfer missing off the target. Bucks leading by eight. Bucks lead by eight. Here's and the foul and one by Kivincenzo. Second personal foul is going on Fievel. Not a good, uh, not a good way to start off at the third quarter before the end. But for Dante Kivincenzo, he definitely did make big two. But the first free throw, he went off target here. So he better not miss anything. Or he may not be able to practice his free throw. There he is. That's a better shooting free throw than the, uh, than the first Sixers one. Sixers trail by 11. Sixers trail by 11. Out to the wing. Pass up by Feibel. Going back to Richardson. The Shot's good. That went from the other way as George Gill picks up his first. Josh enjoying this and my gosh, Josh Richardson may be back in for the third, the third defense, quarter. Knocking him around. Now he's not getting he's not getting collapsed. He's not getting collapsed by other players, but it did seem out went unfamiliar. Josh Richardson will go to the line to shoot one. Same thing, just like DiVincenzo. There's no foul on DiVincenzo. That's uh, this is different. He made one, and they're pulling it up by 34. 42 to 34 is your score. In this league, and then I have to play in the third quarter. Shoots it well. Hill against Richardson in the D. Feeds, it feeds the off to Robin and Robin with the dunk. Timeout, Sixers. With just one twenty, with just a minute and twenty-three left. They're getting all, all watched up, but it didn't seem like he's not sending out a good defenders on each player. This is like how it's happening too much one time. Produce at the volume he once did. Still, he brings a lot of value to a team. Let's see. I'm just going to go for the play throughs and try to, and let's see what Josh Richardson can do. But there's a lot of limiting uh, transactions that I need to get through. But we got to focus on Robin Lopez. We got to watch, uh, we got to watch, uh, make sure nothing is inside at that moment. And somebody needs to uh, guard on Robin Lopez if, he, if he's not here. Not on the court, that would be, be a big problem. Here are some changes for the Sixers and the Bucks. Robinson the first comes in for Pork Boss. And then it's Richardson shoves out as Burks is checked in. And Tobias Harris checked in by Scott. Rolling him over to Bible. Hill has a game that is effective even when he's not scoring. Uh, his Bounce pass to Orford. Will make him a Number two went off. Defended by Robin Lopez. Here's Divincenzo. Oh! That might be off carry. And that could be Robinson the third. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing. Might be, the, the might be another block to pull it up from here. Wow, that was definitely a great defend, defense. 44 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass up by Horford. Oh, shot made it in before the block went on Horford. But it went too late. And finding a way. It's on my Gilly sofa. But Horford. Grabs out five points. Here's Divincenzo. Just 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. He feeds it, to feeds it off to the sofa to Robin. Here's Robin Lopez. making a switch. Makes it off, Makes it off easily. Got and he has six points. Defensively, they're on their A lot of defensive foul uh, rebounds are pulling up by, uh, by the Bucks. But the Sixers are having a hard time to look for other players with a strong rebound to type their grip. Ten seconds to go. The pass to Burks. Paul's a floppy. Three seconds. With the shot, Burks. No buzz beater here for Burks as it went off with the end of the third quarter. That was 46 to 36 for the Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are on its way to the finals if they win again. So we are coming up with the Bruise Gaming right after this. Fourth quarter is next.
Game. It's time to check out the yeah, sis of the game presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, here's George Hill. One more look for Dante DiVincenzo. This is was the layup that happened in the first quarter. As I catch you guys on with an open look, you don't know what uh, what Fiebel had done because he didn't get there in time to start things off with a, with a tough loss at that moment. In game two and three. Now here's fourth quarter. And it looks like Giannis is on a roll here. Picking up a streak. I guess uh, I think he's streaking up. Maybe he wants to improve the other players to face up against. He's looking for the He's looking for a facing up against LeBron James. Whoever made it off the glass with just seven points. Passing up by Burks. Well, that was a that could be assist, but that's not quite enough. Here's Divincenzo. Only 6:30 left to play in the fourth quarter to the end of the second half, and that will be the end of the game. To the really silver vines, Giannis. And on Zacrupo, send the layup, assist by the sofa. 12 points in the quarter, just 55% for the field goaling percentage. Anywhere else, Giannis can get you in the paint. That's where he lives. Burks rolling up on the cool floor. Shrinking the floor. Harris to Feibel. Connaughton cover. He goes up by Ailey Sofa. Connaughton will grab a first look at the rebound. Middleton outside. Middleton outside, only one. A pass to Connaughton. Pass up by Antetokounmpo. Rolling around by Eli Sofa. And a drive's good. Timeouts. Philly Sixers at 539 left to play. Giannis might be on a streak. But the Sixers are just wasting their time to, uh, to find out the defender player. We're looking for Joel and B to get back on the court. They know that in the timeout, they're going to hear a... New players are coming on the court. As MB checked in for Al Horford. And then it's Simmons checking in by Burks. But Burks moves up into the shooting guard position. And Mike Scott is checked in for Demias Harris. Here's DA. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. But we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Sometimes Brett Brown needs to go over the playing throughs. They need to get back in before the other players can defend it and make it the cut. Oh, Giannis! How many dunk was that? Well, he made a one-point lead, one lead over by uh, MB. But MB seems like he's not done. Not a racing competition to look for, but here's Burks. Outside Simmons, rolls over to Embiid. Lock at six, outside Robinson. Robinson the third for two. And that's the three-pointer for Robinson the third. Simmons got five assists. Robinson the third on the track. Long-ranging jump shots are just quite offering a better job. 4.45 left to go. They lead by 11. They are leading by 11 alley -oop, and it does again. That's just like, that's the same thing what Eric Bledsoe was going to look for to find Giannis. And Middleton did the same thing, just like in other games. Pass to Simmons. The inside is Embiid. Embiid kicks to Burks. Robinson the third on the other hand. Rebound by Giannis. Another double digit at that time, but Wesley Matthews, no shots for, for a made, but he went off target again. Simmons, oh, and it's deflected by Brook Lopez. A lot of high percentage, but it went up late. Well, there, there are no fast freaking the call, but that might be a little bit off target here again. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession to Burks rolling it over to Simmons. 3.45 left. Pass up by Robinson the third. Shot clock is six. Rolling up by Middleton. A Bledsoe. Robinson making another switching here as he has five points. Left his feet way too soon. 3.30 left. Let's so. Pass to Middleton. Middleton rolling over to Anchetokounmpo. He shoots over Scott. 
The Bucks could not find a uh, find an open shot as Giannis streak has lost a streak on a shooting. Simmons rolls over to Scott. Passing it back to Simmons. Kicks to Burks. Kicks to Burks. Scott for three. Three pointer connects. Long range between Robinson the third and Scott. Assist by Burks. Scott's shot coming up really big right now. But for Milwaukee, they are switching it all over the place. Robinson the third, that might be another look from here. Middleton for the three. It's good on outside. Sixers calls the timeout. Second to last. 244 left. For you right here. And for Joel Embiid, this is, might be a very tough look when you're when you're looking for Giannis on Kumpo. He wants to block it, but no blocks for Embiid that was putting up. Only Al Horford did, and Glenn Robinson the third only made some uh, couple couple missing the uh, shots at that moment. So I'm making the new change here. Let's go with the Clippers 2018, and I'm going to need to we need to. Uh, Somebody has to crash the glass. This is not what we are looking for. We have to we have to watch on uh, Wesley Mack. I mean, who am I gonna call it? Oh, Giannis. Don't give it up that time. But this is my this might be a lot of tough shots here. Or actually, Wesley Matthews. Give it up. That's what we need to know by. But here's your Jordan player of the game. This one's out by the Greek freak of Giannis on Stakumbo. That is the second time that he knows everything that he has a lot of points to go for. A lot of combinations are just pulling up with a lot of pass, a lot of rebounds, and um, some crazy shots that he was going for. But that big fella was like going for big time effort. 243 left. Here is uh, Simmons. He delivered in a big way. Simmons grabbing it out. And Pass up by Richardson. In the corner over. Warfare right. back to Richardson. Richardson finds Embiid. Embiid and passes up to Harris. Harris. Warfare taking a three. And no calling on rebounds for the Sixers, and they are off, off the street. 215 remaining. Calling for that fake. Under the Kumbo looking over the floor. And shot's good for Brooke Lopez. Joel B draws his first foul. One shot left for Brooke Lopez, but MB draws his first. Looks like Brooke Brown didn't seem to really care about the bugs, but he cares about Joel B without a good, good looking block. And that's not even good what uh, the Sixers can't do without drawing the foul. So that him and his brother could get free rides for the rest of their Robin lives. Robin Lopez, it's him now. That's my, that's my brother, Brooke, Mr. Brooke. <laughs> Mr. Brooke, I, I, I don't know what I call it. Brooke, I call it, I call it Brooke Lopez. The 76 to go. Simmons passes. Richardson with the three. The Wide open make. Assist, assist by Simmons, and that might be Simmons number six. Richardson's pretty consistent. That's three number three six ball, for, uh, for Simmons, and another so shot for, the arc. for Richardson. For the they've gone seven of ten shooting the ball. But so, taking his time. Three on Brooke Lopez. Rolls him around. Three for Brooke. Off the target, and they've made a miss. Here's Harris. Shots off. The foul's going off. Chris Middleton is first. Not a good look here for, uh, for Chris Middleton to go for, for another run in the block. But for an alley it went all right. Tobias Harris will go to the line to shoot two. They stopped the clock at just a minute and 38. First shot made it in. 
Here are new changes here yeah. as Wesley Matthews is checked out. And Tobias Harris Don't think has, even is checked in. He can look to be even more aggressive. Like and I just said, Tobias Harris was just the most guy. improved Dante player on Jones. offense that was He's definitely pulling up the streak right from the outside. And he made a second one. Four points for Harris. One Sixers are calling for a, for a closing game matchup. Bledsoe against Simmons. Bledsoe says, get off of me. You almost started to put a pick on me. He dishes it to Middleton. Well, that doesn't even need to care about it anymore. Giannis, Giannis going up. Great D by Embiid for, for Al Warford would attempt to block it. When he's on the floor. Well, Oliver like way deep. And that's what guys feed off. He gives Not close enough there. here. It went off wide and the target made a loss. Alex DeCoupo sending it up with another look. That's taken away by Horford. Here's the first finishing drive for Richardson. And it's carried away by Dante DiVincenzo. Wow. What a great D look here for, for the Bucks to close out the fifth game. Inside. Inside is Dante DiVincenzo, 39 seconds, oh, off and over. DiVincenzo with another miss. The load they are the sharing it way the deep. The Shots right good. Here. Chris Middleton sends out his second personal foul. When you're second team the foul went on the Bucks. And shooting one will be on Richardson. Lopez, he's checked in now, for Lopez. Now Robert Lopez has checked in for, for Lopez. Lopez. Kumbo, Sterling Brown, he's and checked in Brown for, checked in. And for, uh, for, uh, and for uh, Eric Bledsoe. I and forgot. The and Brett Brown needs to call his uh, next timeout with just 30 seconds to throw it up. Scott if they score Brown. again. Quark Maas, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Ben Simmons. Neto's checked in for Ben Simmons. O'Quinn's checked in for Embiid. And that might be Brown switching in by Middleton. He made one. Richardson. Richardson's got 11 points. Here's DiVincenzo. That'll be the personal foul going on Neto, but, it, but there's no shot that puts up in. Last changing for here as Oakland's checked out and, and Beach checked in, Tobias Harris and Orford. All five players have sucked out. All five players have checked in for the starting lineup. Next call will be two on one. And so it's the walking with it. Ben Simmons reached out his first personal foul, third team foul on Philly. Two on one is on Eric Bledsoe. Shoot two. First free throw draws it in. Puts a seven point lead, a a lead a and one more to clear it up. In terms of his mentality, Eric Bledsoe can get assertive. Made it again. And he does that. It raises the level. They're of raising the up at another team. level between uh, between yeah, Bucks and Toronto. The cards at this point. But that happened yeah, in the second round. Yeah. Richardson. Richardson. Oh, went off target here. And Zoyanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Dishes to Bledsoe. Dishes to Bledsoe. And it's taken away by Simmons and drops it back. Harris for three. Went off carry. And that means the Bucks wins game five. 64 to 56 is your final score as the Bucks lead the series three to two over the over the Philly Sixers. And if they finish game six, then they are the champion. They are really struggling out here in the second game. And the first game was on the Bucks. Did not nothing that they can't do. Now let's go check it over on David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of the transition, you know, trying to get people to stop. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's showed tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, DA. We're looking for the winners between the between Sixers or the or the Bucks by the Lakers in the finals. But that moment, we will have to find out who will win in Game Six by the announcement. So thank you guys for watching for this uh, part of the Eastern Conference matchup between Sixers and Bucks.
If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and there'll be more on its way soon. With that being said, peace out, bitches, for as a while as an Eastern Conference style. So long, everyone.